So you were just recently in a movie. Can you tell us a little bit a little bit about that? Yeah, it's called Cowgirls and Angels, and um, it stars James Cromwell and the beautiful Bailey Madison. She's amazing. And um, I am actually in one of the scenes as a country singer in a bar. And uh, But the, the whole movie is based around Bailey, who's out looking for her father, who she, all she really knows is that he's in the rodeo circuit. And so she joins a trick riding troupe and, uh, you know, in hopes of finding her father. So it's a great family film. And um, it's been so cool to have my music in the movie. This is the first time that that's ever happened. And of course, to be in the movie is awesome. What was it like working with Bailey? Oh, she's great. Um, I met her the day that we shot the scene. And um, she said, oh my gosh, we've been working on our line dance for Come On, I'm so glad to meet you. And so we get back to the trailers and I hear Come On. And mm -hmm. she's pumping Come On through the trailers. <laughs> and I look out and she's doing her little line dance. Um, and so she's precious. And um, so we, we keep in contact through Twitter and stuff. And okay. she's just too cute, yeah. Now you have a musical theater background, is that correct? I do, yeah. Uh -huh. So what was it like kind of incorporating, you know, the acting and the music together, you know, for a movie? That's It's got to be exciting and fun. You know, it was. I had never done anything like that before. I mean, I've done, like you said, mm -hmm. theater. I was in the Conway Twitty musical, and I had done some other things that, um, you know, theater wise mm -hmm. but this is the first time that I've done anything with the movie and so it was cool you know what's great about it is everything that I've had um, the chance to be a part of as far as like theater it was with Conway Twitty which is country music and this movie was um, there were so many great country songs and stuff in the soundtrack and it was you know country oriented with the um, rodeo scene and everything so I've kind of been able to keep it all in the same family so it's been fun. Good. Now, being on set has got to be a lot of fun. Did y'all have any, you know, blooper reels or good highlights from, from the, the scene? You know what? Um, I was just telling somebody that a tornado came through Oklahoma the day that um, we shot the scene. So that was probably the craziest thing. And a lot of these people were from L.A. and um, out of state, of course, not from Oklahoma. And so they were like, oh, my gosh, there's a tornado. So we all had to pack up and go in for a little while. But that was pretty crazy. Was that a little bit scary? It was a little scary. Yeah. You have to, you know. It was pretty scary. Those those uh, natives out there are probably pretty used to it, though, so they know how to how to, how to work through That's it. That's right. I'm an Oklahoma girl, but they still scare me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so can you tell us a little bit about your new single coming out? Well, um, I just finished a brand new project, and um, hopefully we'll have the single picked and ready to come out by the end of summer or early fall. So it's exciting. Yeah, Come On um, was in the movie, and you can see that um, on the trailer and everything. And um, it's on iTunes, and um, there's a video for that as well, so you can always check that out. But um, right now we're just kind of waiting, and hopefully we'll have new music out in the fall. So can you tell us a little bit about how you got started into the music and the acting and everything? Sure. Well, I started singing when I was a little girl. I was five, and um, I was in a pageant, and that's kind of when I figured out, oh, I like being on stage, you know, <laughs> and um, it kind of felt like home to me, and um, I was really shy at the time, which now I'm over that. And so, um, but I sang all the way, you know through high school just at fairs and festivals in Oklahoma and then I did um, traveled in a musical growing up um, about Will Rogers life and so I just found ways to perform any way that I could get in front of um, you know a, a crowd that would listen I was doing it and so then I moved to Nashville right out of high school you know I was from small town Oklahoma and it was pretty scary but I knew I had to be here to do country music. What kind of gave you that that drive to take that next step towards your career because you know a lot of people have dreams of doing these kind of things in it but it takes something within you where did you find that to kind of give you that extra um the next step you know I think that's just kind of in you uh, born in you like from God you know I think it's just something that you just have and it's desire that follows you and you can't get away from it and that's kind of how it was with me I knew I always wanted to do it and so it was just and it's still pretty strong I mean it's just you know I'm just thankful I have that desire, and um, also I had a really great family that was so supportive and took me to lessons and um, all over everywhere to perform, and so um, that was a big uh, help for me.